Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's Monday got Drow 5.0 right here. Actually, no, right now it's gonna be Drow A91 Drow because Drow's getting the super, like I was saying in the other video. So stay tuned for that. He says by the end of the year, I say by 2024, we will know later. <laughs> either way, again, either way, he went to the beach yesterday, so he has sand everywhere. He keeps scratching himself. So if the camera's shaky, that's why. So, guys, in this video, we're gonna be talking about the five top things you can code on your BMW. But first, let's get started by enjoying this Monday morning. We're gonna go to 7 Eleven, try to get some monster. He likes monster i like red bull more but we got the cardigan cover and everything it's looking pretty nice and washed up we got draws honda right there and then we got draw sign right here and then we got draw right there and the case swap in there the case swap <laughs> well yeah guys let's get started and i also got some news for the channel so let's get started hopping in the car and let's go to get some drinks all right guys we actually, actually before we get started let's hear a little cool star it's 10 a.m in the morning come on draw let's hear the beast Now it's little pools for drill right here. Fun fact, the 11 is actually 30 seconds away from the house. It's actually right there. So video over guys, video over, video's over. Thank you for watching, enjoy. All right, everyone, we got the Dro's breakfast right here. Let's go, let's go. So let's get in the car. Give me mine, actually. Give me mine. All right, I don't really like Monster, but, you know, Dro's paying. So I don't have a lot of say in it. We're going to get started in driving a lot of location. Then we're going to start the video. Stay Solid tuned. breakfast. All right, everyone, we got the spot that we're going to be filming. We're going to be filming the top five or six. I'm going to throw one for free. And it's going to be the top five things you can code on your BMW. This is actually not that really hard of a process. It's really simple. You don't only need two things, and one of them you already have with you. One's going to be especially your phone, which I'm actually using to record, but I'm going to use it for the app that we're going to using and the next thing is going to be this which is the iCar Pro 2 I want to say you don't have to use this one there's a lot of them you can use they all do the same things so it's pretty simple this is actually basically an OBD2 adapter for your car BMW you can use it for other things too and it's actually a really simple process you can get this one on Amazon for I want to say 20 bucks I got it for 15 two years ago and there's a lot of them in the market you can choose whatever you want so this one's basically an OBD diagnostic interface but it's an OBD adapter it's a pretty simple process you don't need data you don't need internet you don't need nothing because you're going to be connecting this via Bluetooth to your phone and this goes connected on the pedals where it's going to be connected literally right here right now i'm going to show you right now how to do it it's going to be a really simple process guys it's going to take you probably around five minutes to code each thing because it takes some time to load depending on how many things you have coded and the app we're going to be using for this video i've made a video before and i really like this app so the fact that they're kind of cheap uh they're not free they're 30 bucks i'm not getting any commission from that it's 30 bucks an app i think for the amount of stuff you can do it's actually worth it so the apps i'm going to be using is called beamer code this is the ones i'm using beamer code and beamer link i'm also going to be leaving a screen recording because from everything that i'm doing gonna leave it on the side so let's get started and let me show you where you're gonna be connecting your obd adapter so yeah guys it's gonna be a fun video all right guys so what are we gonna be doing right here i hope you guys can see it clearly but the obd adapter is basically a connection is right here if you guys come pointing at so you're basically just gonna grab it and you're gonna be plug it in in you see lights are gonna turn on that means your adapter is fully connected and you can get started with this video this you guys can do it with the car off accident mode so i will really suggest you guys do it in a place that it's not that hot don't do what we're doing which are filming in the canyons right here it's actually pretty hot because we live in TJ, so it's 104, as you guys can see in my dash, 104. But yeah, guys, the main thing we're gonna be doing right now is coding your car but say let's get started i'm gonna act like i don't have this connected at all first thing we're gonna be doing is putting the car in axle mode so i'm sorry Joe, but i'm gonna turn off the ac he died let's get the screen cord started all right guys already have my screen recording going on let's get started with this video so like i said we're going to be using this app all right the first screen i'm going to show you is a beamer code welcome the first thing you guys can have to do is actually set up your connection to the obd adapter that you guys are running so for this we're going to go to a little settings button right here on the bottom right beamer code full version like i already bought it it's 30 bucks guys i know 30 bucks might sound a lot but it's basically coding a lot of stuff for your car so it's actually you just pay once on a membership it's pretty cool the first thing you guys are gonna do is come here and you're gonna choose what adapter you're running i'm using the vgate icor pro bluetooth 4.0 like i said you can do any of this ones right here mhd orange mhd enet kiwi 3 enet cable for your laptop i want to say i don't know obd link they had a lot of more thor like the guy from the superheroes i want to say 
Unicorn. <laughs> There's Wi-Fi ones, but like I said, I'm doing the one with Bluetooth because mine's kind of gold. And it's actually cheap and this works perfectly fine, guys. So I don't know why you guys will do with the other one. But yeah, select the ones you're using. Simple as that. All right, after that, we're going to do connect. Okay, guys, and remember, you guys want to have everything off in your car because you guys want to save as much energy as possible. This is not a tune, but it works kind of the same way by saving a lot of energy. Okay, so look at the cars we have. We have a one, two, Grand Tour, Active Tour, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the X's, which is the SUVs. And we have the I models and the Mini Coopers because if you guys don't know, Mini Coopers BMW. So we're going to be doing the BMW 3 Series M3. All right, so this is going to take a little while, so I'm not going to be extending this video all this waiting process because like I said, it's going to take some time because it's reading your ECU. I'll see you guys when this is done. All right, I got 96%, so I'm going to cut it. There you go, 100%. So this is all the things we can code and it's divided into different sections depending advanced crash mode, which is going to be your airbags and stuff like that. Let's say you got into a crash and you're adapting your airbags. You can actually do with this here. One thing you can actually adapt your by BMW like base models and you don't have paddle shifters like we do. You guys can actually adapt them and retrofit them via this app. So it's pretty cool. Like I said, 30 bucks and all the stuff you can do is actually worth it. The first one I'm going to be talking about, we're going to be talking about front electronic module. All right, guys, 100%. All right, we're going to be using two of the things that I'm going to be talking about in this stack section. That's what I started with this one so the first one is going to be the auto start option by default so if you guys know if you guys have a bmw not just a bmw but a lot of cars they have nowadays auto stop which is actually every time you go to the stoplight once you press the brake it's going to turn off when you go to zero miles per hour or kilometers same thing we're going to be turning this one off so when the car is going to be turning on for the first time it's automatically going to go to off this car starts with on so that's going to be coding in this video we're going to be changing it in order to make it better we're going to go auto start stop option you see right here off by default i have it active and not active like i said I already did it so i'm not going to be switching it one more time i'm just showing you where it is so you guys can code it i'm going to already have it on active right here and that's when you guys code it this is going to make you guys not be out of stop in every stop that you do we go back i forgot to say guys right here this is the code button after that you're just going to click code and it's going to be close coding it for you it's going to make your backup which is going to be in the bottom right here the second thing i'm not going to be talking about is we're going to be scrolling all the way down here we're going to be taking off our side markers if you guys don't know what that is side markers is basically on the angel lights and the front headlights you have there's an orange light on the bmws but just think when you turn it on it automatically comes on orange and the angel lights i think it looks bad so in my opinion i i prefer when i have it off don't worry about it your blinkers are still gonna work your emergency lights are still gonna work it's just when it's running it's gonna, just gonna be the angel lights which is gonna make your car look way meaner it's gonna look way better it's gonna be right here cornering lights the activation active means you're gonna have it active which could be on we're gonna be on a sign value you. that's going to be turning it off completely so that's what i'm going to be doing in this video and also right here cornering lights activation is the same thing and some case it's going to show different but mine shows active but it doesn't really matter because i also have the cornering lights deactivation so that's what i'm going to be talking about and also with that it also comes for the us it comes with the us sign markers so right here if you guys can see us sign markers we can turn them off and on completely i have mine on off you have to do both of them okay really if you guys your car already has it on a sign leave it like that and just go to the us sign markers i'm making this like this because i don't know if you guys are watching my videos in the us canada mexico uh australia europe so every time is different because bmw's different by the country you know all right guys so the third one i'm going to be talking about in this video is we're going to go to the instrument cluster one and this is not going to be for me because mike already came with it but i'm going to be talking for my non and sport people so you guys can have fun with your car too i noticed in the video how to launch your car a lot of people told me your car didn't come with sport plus and i was not aware of that i didn't i realized every bmw is different and i did not know they didn't come with it so this for my non-sport people we can actually code it and it's going to be really fun because you guys can go not fully off traction but a little bit off trash it's a little more sporty drive so what i'm gonna be doing is opening an instrument cluster then we don't even have to scroll because it's right here driving mode right here is going to be two out of two and active my doesn't show anything else because mine is already like that mine already came with it but in your case it might show not a sign or inactive and then you guys got to choose act i already have it so this is for you guys so you guys have non in you guys can code it in your car is going to be pretty pretty fun all right another one that's going to be pretty cool that's the ones i'm throwing in for free guys is my car comes with a head-up display which i can see stuff on my windshield but a lot of guys don't have that uh bmw has a special package you, you guys don't have that and you guys want to see the speed instead of looking at your speedometer you guys only can do it at the digital one so you can do that one actually right here in the display option instrument cluster digital speeding border computer i already have it active i don't know why because like i have a digital display i just left it active but you guys can code it so it's pretty pretty fun you guys can see how fast you're going on the little screen down there all right guys so we're gonna go to the fifth one it's gonna be the warning chime 
time and the alarm we're gonna be two and one connecting that's gonna be the last one because i don't want to extend this video way too long we're gonna be looking for that one right now you can do a lot of stuff you can change the lighting in your car you know bmws have red on the screen you guys can change to orange and i believe before you can change it to white i'm not sure all right guys we're gonna be coding the last one like i was saying sorry about that my camera died but the one is i was wrong actually that one's actually on head unit and on head unit we're gonna go literally not even how to scroll it's gonna be the warning chime bmw's already come with annoying i want to look for the noise i don't think it's annoying you just get bored of the same sound and the fact that you can change it is pretty cool i actually made a video about this so it's pretty cool so warning chimes we have three basically yeah, three ones that we can choose from because bmw warning chime is the oam one we had the bmw i random one for the longest time it was pretty fun bmw warning chime mini cooper warning chime and have the rolls royce one rolls royce is this that's what the noise yeah that's basically be a rolls royce warning chime it's actually pretty cool we can change it if you guys get bored of it you guys can always reverse it back so there's gonna be no biggie right there no problem all right guys so we actually found that it was it's gonna be a real electronic module so what i'm talking about is the brake display so whenever you guys are braking hard when you're speeding you guys can just press hard on the brake and your lights are gonna flash so it's pretty cool you're never gonna see it but people behind you're gonna see it, so it's pretty cool and it's actually a really better way because it was gonna catch the attention of the driver behind you so i think it's pretty cool so what i'm talking about is brake force display lights right here and brake force flash frequency so i have mine five times per seconds every time i'm flooring it and then i press hard on the brake this is not going to be when you press it softly it's going to be when you press it hard it's going to blink five seconds like i said this when you brake you guys are going to have a flashing so it's going to be pretty cool and that's pretty much it for the i think i did like six or seven of the top bmw features you can call using beamer code it's pretty cool let's end on this video outside so yeah let's go outside guys all right guys we're outside the car we're going to be finishing up this video because it's pretty hot over here in la today it's actually 106 something all right guys so i just want to thank you guys so much for the support we hit 700 subs so that's pretty insane right bro yes sir thank you guys for all the support we really appreciate y'all man we keep doing our thing and we're gonna get that super baby yeah guys 700 subs is pretty crazy so yeah guys i just want to thank you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys enjoyed doing monster bmw and coding your bmw because it's pretty fun passing your eyes have a free day off you guys can play around with 30 bucks that you guys are gonna buy yeah pretty much it you saw the adapter remember guys i have the links down below for everything i use i'm also going to be leaving the links down below for the gear that i use my microphone which is under my shirt i'm also gonna leave leaving the link for my cameras obd adapter that i'm being using so you guys can just get that one it's gonna be really cheap it's gonna be you guys saw this works perfectly fine with that being said that's gonna be it for the video thank you so much for watching guys subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't and give us a like if you guys learned something and comment what you guys want us to do next and that's gonna be it guys we got a saucy video coming up. we got a saucy ass video in the next one that's it guys enjoy